Hello friends, welcome back to Tech with Veeresh. In the continuation to our series on Apache Spark interview questions, today we'll look a very interesting concept that has come post Spark 2.2 and it's, it's called as CBO, cost based optimization. This is the technique uh, provided in the uh, Spark world to optimize the query execution for the different Spark SQL commands. Uh, this is uh, based on a lot of statistics collected around the table, table partitions, etc. and used to pick up the right execution plan to get the most efficient query execution. So guys, in this video, we'll look in, into detail how it works and also try to look it with an example, uh, a demo code example. So guys, let's start. So as we've already talked about, it's an estimation technique, uh, uh, you know, uh, optimization technique uh, provided to make the system pick the most efficient or most optimized physical plan uh, for a particular uh, Spark SQL that has been submitted for the system to execute. Uh, it is very much uh, depends on the statistics calculated based on the different tables involved in that particular Spark SQL, uh, all the columns involved and what is the nature of uh, the data in those columns which are involved in that particular Spark SQL which is submitted. Uh, another point to note is it is very much useful in the scenarios where we have a lot of multiple joints and especially the joints involving a lot of heavier tables because it can chart out a right and optimize physical plan maybe it can do the reordering of the joints based on the statistics for that table and columns collected uh, if we look this particular uh, you know uh, workflow for uh, execution of any uh, spark sql we'll see that uh, first you have these set of activities where you would have uh, a parse logical plan then an analyze logical plan and then you would have a optimized logical plan this optical uh, based on this optimized logical plan um, physical plan is created and when we'll have this cost based optimization enabled there would be number of different uh, you know versions of these physical plans created uh, based on how the table statistics are created and then the cost model will pick up uh, that physical plan for actual execution which would be most cost effective or most optimized and for this cost optimizer or this cost optimizer model to work upon it collects a lot of statistical data about uh, the tables involved the different table partitions involved the columns involved uh, and uh, also it, it calculates a lot of uh, you know data pointers the cardinalities and all those uh, for the table and the table data involved in that particular uh, SQL statement uh, if we try to look further you know uh, the logical plan the optimized logical plan is actually an, actually an input to the uh, cost based model and one of the example of uh, the cost based optimization rule is you know join reorders uh, based on the statistics to provide an optimized plan it can do a lot of you know a reordering of the joints and uh, the way we can make the system calculate the statistics is we can use the command analyze table compute statistics analyze table uh, or table partition or column to compute the different statistics now uh, how the table statistics are calculated in in the cost optimizer is is it 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 ca uh, it calculates the statistics towards the total size uh, for a given table or table partition the number of row uh, rows involved in that particular sql execution and then a lot of uh, column data related statistics things like what is the min value and the max value for that column uh, number of nulls distinct counts average column length max column length and also works on the histograms so these all these statistics are calculated and based on this uh, uh, cost model takes a decision to rearrange the physical plan 
to get the maximum optimized outputs. Uh, let's try to look at the demo for this. So here in this particular example, uh, we have taken three data frames. Uh, two of the data frames are of large nature so that uh, when we try to join them it should kind of return uh, in some sort of a sort merge join and then one of the small df so that will result in the broadcast join because by default it is enabled and if we try to run it without uh, the cbo enabled by default the cost based analysis is uh, is disabled it's false so if we run it as is and try to look at the um, query SQL execution plan in the Spark UI, we'll see that it is kind of, uh, if you see here, it has taken around uh, 13 seconds for the execution of this, uh, these joins, these statements that we have passed. And the order is as is what we have passed. So no uh, rearrangement of the joins is done. No statistics are calculated. And if you see it's here, if it's, it has taken around like, um, around 13 seconds for the execution of this sort merge between the two big tables and then a broadcast join is done with a smaller table right and the overall the execution of this SQL has taken around 13 seconds now if if we try to add the cost based optimization on this on the same example now we have done the cross base uh, we have done the, the CBO enabled as true. We also done the CBO join reorder as true, and uh, then we have submitted some commands to calculate the statistics of these tables involved in this particular join, uh, so that system can use this statistics. This cost-based optimizer can use this statistics to produce an actual, uh, an optimized version of the physical plan. So if we look at the execution of this particular uh, uh, SQL statements now with CBO enabled and if you go to the Spark UI and try to look at the SQL plan is what we have seen it has already kind of uh, reordered the joins now it has first did the join with the broadcast which will help in you know reducing the number of row counts which will go further for a join with the next bigger uh, data set and if we look at the total time taken here is only three seconds compared to the 30 seconds without uh, CBO enabled and here if you also see that uh, this entire sort merge join which has eventually happened between the output of the first uh, big and the small uh, data set and then again with the with the bigger uh, data set it has now taken only around 1.8 seconds compared to it was 13.7 seconds earlier so if you have seen uh, overall the the we've got a uh, almost a 10x performance here by doing the CBO enabled and we've also seen here that you know joints are reordered based on the statistics submitted for different tables involved so guys uh, that's what we have in this particular uh, video for cost-based optimization in Spark SQL and thanks for watching